Welcome back everyone. In our previous tutorial we looked at the analog input of our DIY Arduino board. In this part we will look at, at the analog output of this board. We also noticed that we had a bit of uh, noise from the relay during our test just like this. We will also have a look at how to rectify this by adding a bit of code. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new video. Right, let's look at our wiring quickly. We have a variable resistor which replaced our LDR in the previous lesson. And then we can see terminal 1, 2 and 3. Terminal 1 and 3 forms the full resistance of this particular variable resistor. Terminal 2 is the varying resistance of the variable resistor. This point is connected to our input and this will be varying the voltage reaching the input of our board. We still make use of our voltage divider which is 22k and then the 100k resistors. Now at the output we make use of an LED that will be varying the brightness. We have 1k connected to the power supply which is 12 volts and then to the positive end of the LED and then we have the negative connected to the analog output of our board. Perfect. Now let's move on. We have our unit that is the our wiring setup. We have a voltage divider and then the variable resistor. The other point of the variable resistor connected to negative and then we have the midpoint connected to our analog input. Great. Now when we come to the output, we have the negative point connected to the output which is A02 and then we have the positive of the LED connected to a current reducing resistor to the positive end which is the 12 volts. We have 12 volt supply connected to the board and then the negative of the 12 volt also connected to the board as well. Great. Now let's power it up with a programming cable and then turn on the 12 volts to the board too as well. Alright, now we will look quickly to our unit. That is the programming of our board. We still have the same program just as we use for the next lesson. What we need to do is to change the output to QW0 and then compile again. Okay. So all parameters still remain the same. My COM port is still 7. I still leave the enable pin on and then I click on upload. Okay, we can see uploading is done. Now let's look at how it works in real world. Okay, now we begin to vary our potentiometer and then we can see that the brightness of the LED keeps changing. We are at the max now and then we can see the relay picking. And then when we vary down again, we can see the relay going off and then the brightness of the LED reducing, which means our output is working fine. Okay, we can also hear the rattling noise from the relay. We'll add a bit of code to rectify this particular issue. Okay, great. So now let's move on to our code now and then we need to rectify this we need to delete the particular line and then introduce a set reset from our standard function blocks okay I position the set reset and then stretch it a bit to make room for more positioning okay I connect the output of the comparator to the input which is the set and then the Q output to our output coil. Okay, I need an extra comparator to monitor the minimum point of the analog signal coming in. I reposition the other code and then connect the output to the reset pin of the flip flop. Okay, I need to copy the inputs and then position it 
in front of the second flip-flop sorry comparator and then connect the input to it and then need to change this is supposed to be a less than or equal to comparator because I'll be monitoring the minimum point I change the value to 10,000 which implies that when it gets to 10,000 we reset the flip-flop and then when we go above 1,000 15,000 we set the flip-flop okay great okay so we click on the Arduino icon to compile and then we click on the upload to upload this code to the board okay we can see uploading done we click on cancel and then move on and then carry out our test now turning the potentiometer we can see the relay just went off smoothly and then our brightness also reduces now our brightness is increasing the relay comes back on smoothly we go back down again brightness reducing relay goes off smoothly perfect viewers thank you for watching we've been able to make use of our analog output brightness of an led and also rectify the rattling noise from the relay by adding a set reset flip flop thank you all for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye